the research that I'm doing is on analysis of the brand on Marion Index and its potential in use in seasonal forecasts. Uh, you know, rainfall is one of the most critical uh, climate components, especially in Southern Africa, where much of the economies are driven by rain-fed agriculture. Yes, the forecasting of rainfall is of much importance to the region and to much of Africa. So my work was looking at what is called the Brandon Marion Index, which utilizes the Indian Ocean, the southwestern parts of the Indian Ocean, sea surface temperatures, which have been found to be very critical to the seasonal forecasting and seasonal behavior of rainfall in Southern Africa. So that work uh, is uh, one of the latest research uh, uh, findings, which needs to be looked into further for possible operationalization. So the key component is to deploy uh, researchers, deploy more resources to investigate that component. Much of seasonal forecasting, if you have uh, realized in Southern Africa, has been using the El Nino Southern uh, Oscillation. In the Pacific, uh, Pacific Ocean, that teleconnection is no direct physical uh, mechanism with rainfall in uh, Southern Africa, whereas the Indian Ocean is quite close and is a direct physical mechanism which can be easily understood and give better predictive capability to rainfall in Southern Africa. So my call as well is uh, we have also observed that the sea surface temperatures are warming in the ocean, resulting in much rainfall falling in the ocean as opposed to the land where we need it to till the land, is to say uh, there must be more uh, resources to ensure that we understand what the future holds and what is the relationship between the sea surface temperature warming in the, seas, in the uh, southwestern parts of the Indian, Indian Ocean. So uh, that's my call, and for more researchers to look into that before operationalization.